Hello and welcome to more Spyro 2, Ripto's Rage. I really feel like we're getting in the spirit of the whole Ripto thing, because I'm pretty sure that guy shoots fireballs. And we've got a bunch of lava around here. Kind of losing my voice right here. I should probably go get some tea after this one, but... But yeah, let's just go around and see what we can find. We're looking for some bones. We're looking for some uh, bones of this guy's friends. And these evil toad things have actually stolen them. We've got five out of the eight we need. We've also got that power-up you saw me just have. And with that, we can actually uh, stand on top of the lava, which is awesome. But I want to try to roast these guys. They're doing a good job at dodging me. Come on, come down here. They are not going to come down here. So we've got to look for some lava balls. Or maybe we just have to get them before they go up. What if we jump from the centerpiece? Oh, I guess we could probably use that. But I think we might be able to, like, glide and then hover and then get them. Uh, let's just play by the rules or die. That works too, dying is okay. So one thing I've noticed, when you get a checkpoint and you die, the enemies that you killed after the checkpoint come back, but the gems you got, you still have. So that's a good thing at least. So what I want to do, I think, is get this guy. I don't want to be standing in the middle because I'm going to be surrounded by dragons trying to kill me. So instead I'm going to get some distance and try to shoot at him that way and completely miss. I guess I'm going to have to try a little bit better to actually aim this crud. So let's get some distance and try to aim this without getting totally roasted. I think I want to lob it a little bit, so aim a little bit higher. And even that was not enough. We've got to be pretty close to make these work. I think I might just try shooting it straight up like this. And that one works. So we got one down at least. We've got 20 spirit particles out of 28 in this stage. So these dragons are going to be most of the remaining enemies. Uh, we got that one. Let's get the gems while we're here, I guess. I mean, kind of important to get those. We've got a dude over there. Actually, two dudes we can get butterflies from to heal if we need it. So let's get that guy. And yes, indeed, I am going to need to heal. So let's go get that one. And one more gem over there. Let's go get this last guy. Got him. And for that, we actually get a one-up. Very cool. Let's get that crud. Like this one, which should blow up that chest down there. Uh, wherever it was, right over there. And let's also go and get the gem over here that I missed. So we'll grab that guy, get ourselves a five. Now, uh, last episode, we hit this little bottle. And it had a question mark on it. After we hit it, it appeared in a different spot. So I think we have to go find where that spot was. And we probably have to hit it a few times before we'll finally get some gems from it. So we'll grab the gems here, I believe. Oh, crud, hold on. There is actually a guy up there, if I could go first person to show it. So there's a guy, oh, gosh dang. There's a guy right there. We've got to go find a magma ball to get him. I don't know how we're going to actually get the bone after we've killed him, so we'll have to figure that out as well. But at the very least, we can go ahead and shoot the guy. We might have to lob this one a little bit. Let's just aim right at him. Uh, okay, we got him. Oh, he drops the bone. That is a lot more convenient. So that is number six. We're looking for two more here still. But I believe the mystery chest is going to be inside here somewhere. There's the shield power up if we need it. Might as well grab it. Uh, where is it? I thought it was right over here. No, I don't know where it is. So let's keep looking around. We'll come back to, to here and look for it if we need to. Oh, I think it might actually be up uh, towards this section. So let's go up top here. I think I've been here before, but I don't remember if I did everything or not. Well, let's go inside at least, and right, we have to come over here with the uh, with the power to get this guy. Come on, get him quick. No, he went back up. Gosh dang it, I have to go back around and get the shield power again. But let me take a quick peek and see if the mystery chest is in here. Ooh, there's another guy over here at least, so at the very least we can get that. I believe these are the, la the last two of these frogs. So let's go and wreck this nerd. There we go. And these might be the last gems as well, actually. Let's get that one. And is it 25? Is that it? That is not it. We still need 40 more, so quite a few more to get, but one more of these toad guys, so let me go and get the uh, shield power again. Okay, I've got the shield power up. Please let me get this guy before he goes up again. Crud. He always seems to go up right as I'm jumping down to hit him. All right, this time I'm just gonna, I just know he's gonna go up right as I'm trying to, what the, I fell. Come on, come down, come down. Yes, we got it. We got all eight. Okay, and it teleports Thank me over here to role. safety. That's I awesome. So he's gonna give me hopefully the third and final orb of the stage. Uh, yeah, token of his appreciation, a fairy left it, I guess. Uh, if you guys remember, a cutscene earlier, they showed that the fairies took the orbs and kind of scattered them throughout the world, which is why all these random people actually have them. And for doing that, we got the bones back. I guess it's going to reassemble his friend right here. Oh, and I guess he's going to do a little dance for us. I was kind of hoping he would give us some gems as well, but we'll probably just have to look around for those last few gems. So I don't know where they'll be, but that is some sick moves right there. The triple, quadruple, five, six backflips, seven. Okay, we failed the seventh backflip. That's a little bit too many right there, but he got six backflips at least. It's pretty sick. Okay, it looks like the mystery chest actually is back here. The mystery uh, thing is back here because I died. So I guess we have to do all of it without dying. So we'll hit it right there. 
and it appears inside that section. I believe that might have been where we were trying to hit that guy, so let me go look inside there. Oop, I don't have shield yet. All right, let's go look inside. I think that's where it was. Yes, indeed, right next to the steam thing. So we hit it here, and now it's going to appear over there. Where was that? Crud. I think it might have been back towards one of the cave entrances. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the shield. Let's just go over here. We can get shield power up inside here if we need it. But I think it will be right at the entrance to this place, all the way on this side. I guess I'll go ahead and grab this, just in case I mess up and fall in. Yep, there... Excuse me. Prod. Well, there it is, but this is going all the way back towards the start here. So I do remember where this is, at least, so... Uh, you know, let's go ahead and get healed up, just in case. But I believe it's... Yep, right there. Hopefully this is the last one, please. Yes, indeed! That's gonna be 25, it looks like, so that's not everything. We're still missing some gems here. I need 15 more. Still two more enemies, 15 gems. I guess we'll go look over here. I don't think I ever looked over here for gems. I just kind of did the mission. So let's see if there's anything over here. No, I see nothing gem related up here. So I, I guess that is not the answer. Let's go ahead and fly down here. And I'm just going to take a thorough sweep of the entire stage. Hopefully find some crud. I see one of the enemies. Oh, okay. There's an enemy and some gems over here. So let's go deal with that crud. This might be all the gems. It might not be as well. Uh, oh, this guy's not going to jump. So I can just flame him normally. So we've got seven right there. Oh, this might be it, guys. We've got another five right here. We see three more, and there they are. So there's all the gems. Skelos, not Shellos, it's not a Pokemon. Skelos Badlands is completed. We're going to go ahead and hit exit. There should be an exit cutscene, so let's watch that. How do they have a video camera? What the crud? Alrighty, so we've got the first stage that we entered totally finished off. We don't have to go back with the power up later on or some crud like that. So I guess we're just going to go right into the next stage because, well, this video is a little bit short right now. So we could go do one of the speedways. I think I will do that, actually. I was thinking of doing both of the speedways together and kind of having a episode that was just those. But I think the speedways are kind of not the most interesting stages. So putting having an entire episode that was just two speedways would probably be kind of boring. So let's just go find a speedway and try to do most of it or at least or all of it or some of it, whatever. Let's just... Go do it. And up here we've got Scorch. That is not what I'm looking for. Uh, over here we've got Fracture Hills. Nope. Over here we've got Magma Core. Nope. Okay, over here we've got Shady Oasis. Gosh dang, where are the speedways at? Was this down here a speedway? Please tell me this was a speedway. This one is Icy Speedway. Okay, so here we've got a speedway. Let's go check it out. Oh my gosh, we're getting dropped right in. It looks like we've got to kill some guys that are like, like Eskimo guys that are parachuting or some crud here. Looks like there's also some dragony type things to kill. We've got four of those guys dead. We've got to look for some more. They're definitely living up to the Icy name right here. These guys are worth a few seconds each. There's a lot of stuff to kill here though. So let's go around and try to kill all these guys. At least there's, okay, all of them done. Oh, it looks like somewhere up top, somewhere down below. We've also got to kill these dragon guys. We've got to kill the uh, skating twirly guys. Probably have to also fly through these archways. This might take a while to actually figure out the proper path to go through this place. I do have a lot of time here, but that can go away very quickly if I just miss a few things. Speaking of missing things, I think I've missed a dragon already, but hopefully I can swoop back around and get that at a later time. Uh, let's just drop right here, I guess. We can hover just to drop a little bit easier, so we'll go down, kill that guy, go back up for the arch. I think the last few of these guys are over here. Our time is sticking pretty pretty consistently at around 30, but we're going to start losing that pretty quick here. Let's go down for the dragon. Got that one. Go down for this guy. This is actually... Oh, no, there's one more, so I do think I missed one before. We can go over and get this twirly skater guy, at least. Let's start going for some of these arches. We might also have to hit those things on top of those buildings. I'm not sure about that. Got four more arches to go. Here's that dragon we missed, so let's get that guy. And let's go back up top. Get this guy. Let's go inside the middle here. There's one. There's two. There's this one and just... No, that's it. That's all the arches. Is that it? There are... No, we got it all. That was so easy. First try, we got the all-in-one. That is the easiest flying stage in any Spyro game I've ever done. I've never got it on my first try before. Whether it was Spyro 1 or Spyro 2, never had that happen. Let's go ahead and hit retry. I think there is a skill point. I've talked about these before. I think there's a skill point in these stages if we get a time under 1 minute and 10 seconds. Could be wrong on that, but I think there is. 
but let me go ahead and hit retry. Let's look at the guidebook, because I think there's a bonus objective here. Yes, as you can see, Icy Speedway, 66% complete. So we've got to find where the bonus is to get the orb. Wait, there we go. Okay, we have to supercharge into the igloo, and there is Hunter. Let's go talk to him here. Good hey, job, buddy. Spyro. Oh, thank you. Looks like you're ready for a more serious challenge. I'm always ready for serious challenges. Let's go. You're not afraid of heights, are you? No, I'm a dragon. Why would a dragon be afraid of heights? Let's do it. A little bit of paragliding, so I think we just have to fly behind him, fly through the rings like we had to do before, four-star difficulty. Oh my gosh, this is actually quite fast. But we don't really move up and down, we just move left and right right here, so this might actually not be that tough. Yeah, we're just, we're just scooting left and right here. This is actually seeming pretty easy, but there is 50 rings we have to go through, and I'm guessing if we miss any, like that, then we probably fail. All right, let's try this one again. Let's not miss any of these things. Once you let go of a direction, he moves away pretty quick. So you have to make sure you go through the ring before you move anything. Oh boy, this is definitely gonna be kind of tricky, isn't it? Some of these are very, very tricksy. There you go, looking pretty good. About halfway done already. If I can just keep this up, we'll be good to go. Oh, I hate these ones where you have to, yep, get it like on the way. That's so awkward. I missed the very first ring that time. Are you kidding me, dude? Okay, I think I was right about here before and I failed. I keep missing them, but I gotta say this is actually a pretty fun challenge. I like this one. Whoa, that sounded so weird. Okay, we've made it past two. We're up into the 30s now. Now things are getting really crazy. Just a few left to go, but I can mess up at any second. Let's not let that happen. Just nine more to go. Single digits right here. Come on. Six, five. Four. Let's get this whole row. Get the whole row. Yes. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Give me that orb, Hunter. Let's go, dude. All right. You're even better than I am. Heck, yeah, I am. And there we go, guys. Icy Speedway, 100% complete. So we finished off Skelos Badlands or whatever it was called. Skelos Wastelands. I don't remember the name. We finished off that. And we finished off Icy Speedway, so I think this was a pretty good episode as far as progress is concerned. So we're going to end things off here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll come back next time and start another big stage. We'll save the second Speedway for a bit later. Let's go into an actual big stage tomorrow. So I'll see you guys then. Take care.